enough for me. Okay, uh, now we will have a second question. The second session is to amplify, and we know that um, for us, for us, that there is no shortcut. So this is the second part with our session is to amplify our level of quality with regards to the economic skills, the ability to add a for the one of the recent lectures, and we need some more time. So for the second presentation. Let me proceed our meeting with the network from Assalamualaikum, Mr. Sorry, I can't hear you. A PhD degree from the university. Okay, can you hear me? No, I can hear you clearly, sorry. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, this this one is better. Well, better, okay. So we have uh, ten, uh, eight participants so far. Maybe we can uh, wait another two more minutes before we start. Okay, sure. Right. Okay, uh, assalamualaikum and good morning. Can everyone hear my voice clearly? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So, uh, to avoid any background interference, uh, I appreciate if you could, could mute your microphone. And if you have any question uh, during my session, you can uh, unmute and ask a question. So, I will be happy. To answer it if i if i know the answer but if not i'll i'll get back to you by email okay, okay uh first of all uh thank you for registration 
for this link to the Fish Connect uh, online training. So just a back, some background on Fitch Connect. Uh, it is an online database that focus on banks where you can get uh, listed and unlisted banks. So for those who familiar with Bloomberg or Thomson Reuters before, uh, you can only get listed banks data or financial statement from these two databases. But how about uh, the, the subsidiary banks? For example, we have uh, Islamic Bank, for example, where the reports or the financial statement is not uh, easy to, to access or to retrieve. So before this, we have Bank Scope, but since 2017, Bank Scope is no longer in the market because the uh, previously Bank Scope collaborate with Fitch, Fitch Solution, uh, and Bureau of Index. So since 2017, they both uh, split and they both produce their own uh, database, bank database. So one of it is uh, Fitch Connect by Fitch Solution. So we have uh, benchmark these two databases and based on the result, we summarize that uh, Fitch Connect is the best available database. So we, we decided to procure Fitch Connect. Okay. okay, so how do you access Fitch Connect? Okay, first you can go to uh, KMC portal. Okay. So Fitch Connect use their own, uh, we have a, a dedicated uh, login ID for Fitch Connect. Uh, you, you don't need or you, you don't require your student ID to as your login, login credentials. We have specific login credentials for each of our financial databases. How to get the login ID, you may email to KMC at instead.org and mention that you want the login credential to these databases. So far, we have uh, three financial databases that you can access remotely, uh, Fitch Connect or Banks Data, uh, Thomson Reuters Data Stream and Icon for equity, uh, money market, forex, uh, macro data, and also Bloomberg. Okay, so at KMC portal, uh, you can navigate to explore collection. Okay. And here is our type of resources available. For Fitch Connect, you can find it under online database. Okay, so this is all our subscribed online databases consists of scholarly databases and financial databases. And you just scroll down to Fitch Connect. Okay. So for today's session, I will go through on how to get uh, individual banks data, single banks data, their financial statement, income statement, uh, the full report, and also how do you get uh, multiple banks based on your requirement, uh, whether you want uh, certain sector whether you want commercial banks, Islamic banks, in certain countries, for example, if you want to compare their performance, okay, we will cover that. And lastly, uh, by using this Excel historical template. Uh, for your information on the web version, uh, Fitch Connect web version, you can only retrieve uh, historical data up to the last 10 years. So uh, the latest one we have is if uh, year and period we have uh, 2019 so it should be the the earliest one you can get is 2009 or 2010 for example but by using this excel historical template uh, you can get up to 30 years of bank data so for example depends on the bank for example if the banks uh, if each have the data since like 1990s you can get the data since 1990. Okay. Uh, if you need to download this file first, you can you can uh, download it first. It doesn't require any restrictions, but 
to login, you, if you have or if you already have the login credentials to Stitch Connect, you may try. But if you don't have, you may request the login credentials to KMC. Okay. okay. So I'll also provide the down the PDF guide available here. So let's say if I'm too fast and you want to catch up later, you can download this uh, PDF guide. Okay, so uh, you just click on these two links here and it will bring you to Stitch Connect homepage. This is the search homepage. The actual homepage is this one. Okay. So at your homepage, you can see that what is the highlighted research, uh, highlighted news that uh, recently produced by Fitch Connect. But for today's session, I will uh, cover more on how to get the bank's data. Okay. So first of all, on the top, on the top of the page, you can see that uh, there is a search, global search icon, uh, global search bar. Right? Okay, so this is quite straightforward. You can key in any bank's name, for example. So I'm looking for, let's say, Maybank. Okay, once I type Maybank, the system will, uh, based on relevancy, will try to uh, match my keyword. So you can see that this is the, the research produced by Fitch that carries on Maybank as the title. News that contains Maybank in the title. Entities, companies or banks that have uh, Maybank in their entities title and also this is the the bonds issued by Maybank okay. so we, we we are more interested on entities so here I can see that we have uh, Maybank Singapore Limited which is a bank located in Singapore we have PT Maybank Indonesia Finance which are located in Indonesia and I'm looking at uh, Maybank based on based in Malaysia. So if I scroll down, you can see that okay, this is Maybank Islamic Berhad. If I need uh, the main Maybank, I can type Maybank Berhad. The actual one is uh, Malayan banking. Yeah, this is the parent of my bank, Malayan Banking Berhad. So I just click on this. <clears throat> so this is the overview of uh, Malayan Banking Berhad. You can see the summary of corporate profile, the sectors, uh, ratings. Uh, parent, if any, and their ratings by by Fitch, Moody's, and S and P. <clears throat> so we are more interested on their financial statements. So how to get their financial statements? You can yeah, you can go to each of these profiles. The financial statements is located on the financial tab. So by default, it will display the last five years of financial statement data. Okay. You can expand that by seven years or all. I just click all. Okay. So they have since 2009 and up to 2011. So this is uh, I can further check. 
So this is already con consolidated by FRS. So if you, if they have 2010, but it's on local gas. This is uh, accounting standard. So if I select uh, local gas and click submit, I can get all their financial statements. You can see that uh, they have up to 2011 June, which at that point of time is they are using local gas. And since 2011 onwards, they have converted to IFRS. Okay. So this is the full uh, financial statement. You can see that they have their own balance sheet. All the balance sheet items is available here. Okay. And if you hover on the icon on the figure, you can see that there's a further explanation or further calculation. Okay. okay. So this PDF icon means that. Uh, this is from the original financial statement or annual report. So if I can select uh, this PDF icon, so I can see that uh, this is the uh, December 31st, 2009 financial year yeah, annual report. Okay. So I just download one. Okay, so this is the uh, annual report from for 2019 that I have downloaded from Fitch Connect uh, page. Okay. This is the their actual annual report. Okay. So let's say you want to have a copy of this of this statement, you can click on the Excel icon. Okay, there are two options here. Export current view and export all views. Current view means that you are downloading or exporting the current tab or sheet that you are open, opening at the moment. So currently I'm, I'm opening the balance sheet, icon, balance sheet tab and I click on this export, export current view. Okay. So the file is downloading. Okay. okay. This is the downloaded file. You can see that there's only balance sheet item here. So now we have uh, their balance sheet statements since 2011 up to 2019. Okay. So you can do your further analysis uh, if you need from this balance sheet statement. So this is the Excel, uh, Excel balance sheet that I have downloaded. Sorry if I didn't share it earlier. Okay. So as you can see that there is only one tab, which is the, the balance sheet. Okay. So this figure 
is up to 2011 until 2019, the latest one. Okay. Okay, now I'll show you on how to download all these tabs. Okay, so you can go to export, export all views. Okay, so here are the balance uh, balance sheet, key financial income statement for Malayan Banking Berhad. Okay. So here you can have your okay. so here is all of their financial items. So let's like say you need the uh, if you need uh, like if you need uh, many of the variables, for example, total asset, ROA, uh, equities, their debt, and and the rest, you can find it in this uh, statement. So this is how you get. Uh, single entity or single bank's data. So if you have uh, less or few banks, you can try this, this method. For, for single banks, let's say if you have like less than five or less than ten banks that you are working on, you can try this method. But how how about if you have certain criteria? For example, uh, you you need to go to Islamic banks in certain countries, for example, in Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, UAE, for example. Well, you can do that by go to the search tab and go to entities. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the filtering or the screener that Fitch provide to you to filter your banks based on the sectors and geography, location. There are two methods here. <coughs> the, the first one is you go by banks, bank type or bank sector. Okay. And then once you have select your bank, you can go by their country or geography. Uh, I will not encourage you to use these two types because uh, you cannot choose your preferred or, or your period here. Okay. So if you select here, you can, if you select by this financial, it will only display the, the current or the latest figure. But if you need to analyze uh, historical data, you need to create portfolio based on your filtering or your screener. First, I'll choose bank sector. So this is the all the bank sector available. We have commercial banks, uh, private banks, central banks, and the rest. Okay. So I'll choose 
for example, Islamic Bank. So once I check the box here, the system will filter my result. So you can see that this is the filter. <coughs> so uh, globally, we have for Islamic banks, we have uh, around 158 Islamic banks globally. Okay. So you can see that this is the, the market sector, the country, and the rating. So I narrow down or I further down based on country. For example, I'm looking for Islamic Bank in Malaysia. Uh, there are two ways here. You can uh, open up these uh, options or you can even type the country name here. You can even type the country name and the bank's name here. So I type Malaysia, so all the all the related keywords uh, related to Malaysia will, will, will pop up. So but make sure you are selecting geography because you are you tell the system to get uh, Islamic bank in Malaysia, not entities based on not based on entities. This is the the one that entities that carries uh, Malaysia in their name. So you can see that this is the sector, Telecom, telecommunication, uh, life insurance. So you need to click on their geography. So once I click Malaysia, I'll update the filtering. So I have uh, Islamic banks in Malaysia. So total we have 16 Islamic banks in Malaysia. So the next step is to create a portfolio based on this list. So I just uh, Mr. Hanem, sorry. Yeah. Can I ask, mm -hmm. um, for these banks, can we say like we want to search uh, an information like a uh, number of banks in 2005 or 2015, for example? Can, we, can, can the system do that? Number of is, Yeah, you for example. Because oh. we want the historical data. Okay, so let's say you want the banks in Malaysia uh, since 2016. How many banks you mean? Yeah, uh, for example. Okay, uh, the system don't pop up that number of bank figures, but you can you can uh, see in the historical data figures. For example, we have uh, for example. Okay, I'll I'll, sh I'll show you in in the next. Page. Okay, so. Uh, in that case, I'll, I'll remove Islamic banks and I select all the banks in Malaysia. Islamic bank and commercial bank. Because some of the banks here is already uh, defunct, but Still, they are in the list. So, in the financial statements, you can see that uh, certain years they don't have any figure. So, we can assume that uh, on that year they, they don't report or they already defunct. Okay, understood. Okay. So, I just select all here. Create a, you need to create a portfolio first. So I'll give this uh, Malaysia Bank. Okay. And you need to submit and view. If you click submit only, you will only create your portfolio, but uh, it will not show you the portfolio. Okay. So it's better to click submit and view. Okay, so this is uh, the banks, all the banks in Malaysia, all the sectors that I have created. You can see that this is the portfolio name. By right, it will display the most recent period. 
So you can see that uh, the recent period for Alliance Islamic is the first March 2019. And we have uh, Alliance Banks Malaysia, which is 31st March 2020, because they produce uh, interim statement, which is quarterly. So you can see that uh, Bank Boon Putra is no longer in operation, but but in the list, the is still there, okay. but there's no information about this bank. <clears throat> this is the default uh, variable. You can select your own variable if you have. You can uh, click on this icon. This is uh, you need to create a custom view. So this is the custom view means you can add your own uh, variable. For example, you need the ROA or ROE of the banks. You need the total asset of the bank. Okay. So we create a custom view. We just need to add another view name. For example, I'm looking for uh, no, this is just a view name. So I'll give this today's date. Okay. And these are all the available variables from their financial statement. Okay. Or you can even type in the search bar. For example, I'm looking for their total asset. Okay. So this is the total asset for bank. And they are written on OAE. And maybe um, uh, some ratios. So once I've done selecting all my variables, uh, you can click save and it will create your variable by the name, by the view name that you have uh, set up earlier, which in my case, I'm using the today's date. Try to refresh the page because it took a while. Where is this? Okay, so we. Oh, it's already there. So my view, my custom view is already there. It has been created. So once you click save, uh, you will see that your view is there. You can put your, your name, for example, because this is a shared ID. So 
the you can put your name or your or whatever. Okay. So as you can see, the this is the most recent for this figure. Total asset ROE and core tier one capital. Let's say if you need to go through each of this year, okay. say I'm looking at the 2019 state, 2019 figure. Okay. So this is all the 2019 figures. Okay. But how about if you need to compare every year? Okay. Let's say you need the last five years of this variable data. You can click on this uh, multiple year period portfolio. Don't get confused because this icon looks like download icon. Okay. This is not the download icon. This is multiple year period. Uh, the function is to download historical data or time series data for this uh, variable. So as I mentioned earlier, you can go up to the last 10 years. So you can choose by annual data, uh, interim data, or and also quarterly data. So I'll try the last five years. Okay. So you can uh, track the frequency. If you need the, the latest one, if you need the 2015 first, you can select 2015 first and followed by the recent year. Once you click export, it will automatically download uh, this data to your Excel. It will not display at this page. Okay? It will directly download the, the figure to your Excel. So once I click export, you can see that the file is already downloading. So I have my Excel file here. Okay. So this is the portfolio name that I've created. And these are the variables that I have selected, which is which are the three variables, total asset, uh, ROAE, and tier one capital. So as you can see here, uh, this is all the available banks in Malaysia. Okay, so the one that don't have any data or figure means the bank is no longer uh, operation or either the bank doesn't have the, this statement. For example, in Malaysia, uh, we used to have uh, Eon Bank. Yeah, Eon Bank. But if I'm not mistaken, they not in operation since 2006 or 8. So we can assume that uh, they are no longer in operation uh, because I've selected 2019. So in 2019, they are not uh, in business already. Yeah, same goes to Southern Bank. Yeah. <coughs> So you can uh, not only compare banks uh, by within one country, you can compare banks 
let's say you have two or three countries that are looking at. You can even further expand your geography or your country. For example, I'm looking for Islamic banks in Bahrain. You can just tap Bahrain and select the geography. And we have uh, Qatar, for example. That's it. UAE. So I'm looking at these three countries, uh, Islamic bank sector. So based on the result, I have 31 banks in these three countries. So I just select all banks here and create a new portfolio. So let's say if you need to add or drop uh, based on your previous portfolio, you can uh, submit a new. So it will add these banks to your Malaysian bank portfolio. So it will add these 31 banks to your existing uh, Malaysian bank portfolio. But if you need to create a new one, create a new portfolio and just rename it. So if I put a name here, uh, Bahrain. Submit and view. Okay. So this is all the banks for Qatar, Bahrain, and UAE. So by default, it will show you the the recent views that you have created which is the total asset ROP and K1 capital <clears throat> okay as you can you can see that the currency is not consistent some banks report USD some banks report uh, Bahrain uh, dollar or UAE uh, currency okay this is all their local currency Qatar, Rian, for example. How do you standardize this currency? Okay. You can see on my right, on the right part of the screen, there are currency conversion. Okay. So you can click on that and drop and scroll down to your preferred currency. So the standard one will be uh, US dollar. So once you click US dollar, and you click submit. And all the local currency will be converted to US dollar based on this year uh, exchange rate. So if you have multiple year, it will follow each of the year exchange rate. It will not uh, follow the latest exchange rate. Okay. For example, if you have uh, 2000 2018 and 2017, it, the figure will change according to your uh, yearly rate. <clears throat> so let's say you want the last, uh, we want the data since 2015 to 2011, for example, and I click on export. So this is the uh, Qatar, Bahrain and UAE Islamic banks. Now all the currency has been standardized to USD instead of their local currency.
Okay, so any questions so far? So we have uh, covered uh, single banks, how to download single bank statements, um, multiple bank statements. And if you need, uh, for example, we have this all banks in Qatar, Bahrain and UAE, right? So if you need all these bank statements, like what we download earlier for single banks entity where where the statements contain financial uh, income statement balance sheet ratios of balance sheet and liquid financial you can find that uh, all the statements in showcase view okay so you just go to showcase view and click on financial bank view in this financial bank view you can get all the statements if you have multiple bank but you if you need the historical data or the previous year's data you need to go each of these years option okay. for example this is the recent year Uh, okay, uh, why the database report not standardized reporting standard? Uh, some are some some is consolidated and some are not consolidated. Okay, uh, this is my understanding. So uh, I need to put the check. Uh, based on Fitch, uh, based on what Fitch tells me that uh, some banks are consolidated. Uh, they are fight. for example the, the for example Islamic banks right so Islamic banks uh, no. uh, Maybank Islamic they they produce uh, or their they report their figure to their uh, parent company which is um, Layan Bank in the heart or Maybank and and this one uh, so each of these uh, non consolidated and the parent one is reported as consolidated. This is what uh, Fitch tells inform us. So, if you need uh, further clarification, uh, I can follow up on this question and get back to you. From Amiro, right? So we, uh, yeah, this is the primary reporting standard. So which one that don't have uh, consolidated, they they will uh, show consolidated. Which one that they don't have consolidated, it will go by consolidated and vice versa. Same as same for reporting standard. So we are in the financial uh, financial banks view. Okay. So this in the financial banks view, you can see that all the financial statements is available. But you need if you need to go further year by year, you need to go uh, by selecting this uh, period year option. There's no uh, single click and you get all this uh, all these years downloaded to your laptop okay. because because you are looking at their all full full financial statements and this is the nearest options that they have.
Okay, same same things. Let's say you are looking at 2018 financial statement. Okay. So if you click on current view, it will only download your income statement uh, data. If you need all these views, okay, click on export all views. But if you click export all views, you only get this financial data based on this year. Okay. So if you need the last 10 years, you need to uh, repeat download uh, 2017. Click on export and export all views. If you need all the all this statement figure or data. Okay. But if you need uh, only certain certain variables, you can go to the custom view. So you go to your custom view and let's say uh, you need to edit this variable based on this uh, view, view name. You can click on edit custom view and you can add or drop uh, any of these variables. Say I need to add um, global uh, net interest margin on common equity by total asset okay and i drop down roe then you click on save okay so i just drop roe and add to more variables which is net interest margin and common equity uh, and total equity total asset okay so i just download let's say the last 10 years data okay. and click on export So this is the, the one that I have recently downloaded. <coughs> so this is the figure for 2019 up to 2010 data. For total asset, uh, still one capital. Net interest market and common equity total asset. So we are done with the <coughs> web version. Any questions so far? Before we proceed to the Excel template. No question from me. Okay. <coughs> So now I'll show you on how to use the Excel template that uh, Fitch has provided to us where you can go up to 30 years of bank's data compared to 10 years of, of data using this uh, web version. Okay. How to get, uh, but before that you need to have your uh, Fitch connect add-ins installed okay how to get this add-in installed okay in this fitch connect uh, web you go to this help icon okay 
and you go to Excel support. So this is the add-ins you can install based on your laptop or desktop requirement. If you have 32 bit of uh, Windows, you can install 32 bit uh, Excel add-ins. Or if you have uh, 64 bit Windows, you can install 64 bit uh, Excel add-ins. <clears throat> okay, so once you have installed these add-ins, you will see okay you will see at your top of your excel will have this page connect uh add-ins okay. so if you have uh thomson reuters installed uh, earlier you will see that there's another tab thomson reuters the stream for example okay so this is the page connect excel add-ins So I'll show you the, the template that we we have created. So this is the template that uh, we have requested to requested to fetch to to help us how to download because we have problem in downloading the previous years historical data. Before this, the, the guide is quite, uh, I can say hard, hard, hard to, because it based on formula. You need to know the bank's entity name, you need to know the, the, the formula for, for example, the, the total asset. So for example, uh, right. yeah, so you need to know each of the spelling uh, underscore and the rest. So this is quite uh, tough for us. So we requested them to create a template to get this bank data. Okay. So I'll clear this one first. <clears throat> okay, so these are several guides or requirements. Okay, you can further, this is the guide uh, to use this template. Okay. First of all, you need to log in first. Okay, so by right, if you already log in to the web version, uh, the system will not prompt you to re-login again okay. because uh, it will sync, sync your username and password to the web version. Okay, so how to use the Excel add-in? Okay. This is the sequence. First, you need to select your or you need to choose your entity same as the web version. Okay. Next, you choose your period start or your or your start date and end date. Whether you want yearly data, interim data, and or both. Then you select your currency, whether you want it local or or USD uh, found to standardize your data. And you select your item, which is the variable. Okay. So this is the variable part. Okay. So once you're done, you just click the download icon. And your data will populate in this form. Okay. So this is the my previous search. As you can see that my 
I choose since 1990 and my data goes up to yeah since 1990 so we can have a try uh, if you guys have any banks sectors or variables to look for you can uh, I, I can try on that so any any banks you need to try or any sectors any variables you need to check yes uh, I, I can can I can I request? Yeah. Yeah, I I am looking for a bank's data on um financing by contract. Can can I do that? Uh, yes. this is a yes. bank in Malaysia. That's by product, is it? It's it's uh it's the usually in the financial statement it will be from the uh, notes to the account. Uh, we can because it's in the financial statement i can use the one that we have downloaded earlier so we can check whether uh, it's available or not This is uh, Islamic products, right? It's it's not a product actually. It's a fin uh, it's a it's a financing. Um, okay. But by because it's an Islamic bank, so uh -huh. uh, I want to filter it by the contract that it, they use, either Tawaru or Istisna or um, okay. Musyaraka, whatever. Okay, I try to download both of the bank sector. We go to all their financial statements. Okay. So you need uh, whether the financing is by by Islamic product, is it? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea usually where it's reported? in balance sheet or income statement uh, from the balance sheet it will be from the uh, asset uh, i mean from it, it's in the balance sheet balance sheet uh, okay. asset
I can't see any product here. Check on Maybank. Off balance sheet. Okay, let's try. Uh, the information will not appear in the balance sheet, but it is a balance sheet item and it will usually be in the notes to the account. Oh, I think. Take down of it. Of balance sheet tabs, right? Okay. Okay, this is off balance sheet item. If you can't find it here, maybe we can have a look at their actual figure, actual annual report that we have downloaded earlier. Okay, so you are saying, I mean, uh, from this Excel, Excel, we can we can only do that if we look at the actual financial report, right? Yeah, we we can try that. Yeah, you mean on this page? Yes, yes. Is this no? Yeah, notes to the financial statement. Uh, Financing, so it's under financing and advance. Yeah, it's available in the actual annual report, but we can have a try whether it's available in the web version. Usually they have it. I 
can't find it here. I uh, saw so this is, is now IB. I'm not sure whether this is Islamic banking item or not. We can further check. Okay, so this is uh is this now Maybank one one five two thousand nineteen Okay so this is uh two thousand nineteen is this now one one five okay so I can say this is the same figure right so this might be it the same figure but not all banks report that that uh, it's in it's, it's now financing only this uh, two four maybe this six banks yeah, maybe this is the Islamic Islamic banking it's part. It's possible because maybe some of the banks do not have that product or that contract. Yeah, because all this is Islamic. Yep. Yeah, because this is the consolidated, right? The, the parent and this is non consolidated. This is the Islamic uh, banking window. And they both produce the same figure which is 115 okay. based on the annual report it's 115 407 yeah. this one okay so we haven't covered the excel errors yet Maybe you can try the same to the same. My add is my add in when missing, so I need to re-enable. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we try to add our entities first. And then uh, choose your preferences, your start date, end date, currency, variable. And we try to download to get uh, data prior to 2010. So I try to add entities. If we have selected, uh, if you need to select this on your portfolio, you can choose it. But the portfolio available here is limited. Only I can say around not more than hundred portfolio is being transferred to this Excel admin. Okay. So if you can't find your your portfolio here, uh, you can uh, try to create a new portfolio. So let's say I'm looking for commercial banks in any country. For example, um, uh, okay, commercial. commercial. Okay, uh, the filtering or the screening same same as what we have in the web version. Uh, you select your sector and you select your country. Okay. So once you're done, you click on search. Okay. So now I have my commercial bank in Malaysia. So once you're happy with that, you select all and click add to template once you click add to template all the list will be transferred to your uh, excel excel template and you can further close this window okay so once you're done you can go to the next step which is the preferences so here i'm selecting uh, my start date so we want to check whether this Excel can provide uh, data prior to 2010 so you can try uh, 2000 until 2011 I will not go by uh, since 1990 I'm, I'm afraid that it will consume much time So I'll choose only year and only. So it will get uh, 31st December each year since 2000 to 2011. Currency, I'm using ringgit, local currency. So uh, by default, uh, this is the, the default variable. So I have my own variable. So I choose my item and go you can go to the next step or sheet to add your variable okay so you can have time this is now let me see whether this is correct spelling I don't think it's correct. So we just use the the commonly used one. Okay. So once we have selected this one, just click add to template. And you 
can further close this uh, fail lookup window. Okay, so we can check our requirement. We have this uh, list of banks in Malaysia, commercial bank. Uh, consolidated statement. Okay. Since 2010 up to 2011, uh, year end only, which is uh, the last date of December each year. Local currency uh, item is the variable. We have selected these two. Okay. So once we done, we can go to the first tab and click on download. So you can see that the system is trying to request from the server. So we have requested 66 banks entities. So all data has been downloaded. Okay. Okay. So here are the list of banks and variables that we have uh, requested. So we have Afid Bank, uh, all these 66 banks, and their figures. So I can check that I have the data since 2000 until 2011. So let's say I need to further down. Maybe I can try 1982. So just now I'm using a uh, local currency, which is Malaysia Ringgit, and I I try to convert it to US dollar. Okay. So we can download, re-download the data again. Okay. Okay. Now you can check your years. So just now I'm selecting 1990, but the earliest one that they have for Malaysian Bank is since 1993. So you can check which bank is that. So the data available since 1993 is these five banks. Alliance, Bank Mumputra, Malayan Banking, Public Bank, and RHB. So this is this is the figure. Okay. So you can see that uh, this figure. I am um, using uh, USD if I'm not selecting USD right. Yeah, currency USD. And they change according to that 
particular year exchange rate which is at that point of time is around two ringgit per one US dollar which is in 1993 and this is the figure total asset and the ROE So that's about it. We covered a uh, single bank entity search and downloading single bank entity uh, data and financial statements. Uh, we also covered uh, multiple banks, uh, multiple banks data in historical historical format. And lastly, we uh, covered the Fitch Excel add-ins, which you can get uh, data up to 30 years based on the bank's reporting. Okay. So, any questions so far before I'll end the session? Okay. Before I forget, uh, you can download this uh, Excel add-in template. Uh, available at the KMT portal. Okay, it's under uh, online database, and you can scroll down to Excel uh, to Fitch Connect, sorry, and go download the Excel historical template. So if you don't have yet the login credentials, you can email to KMT at fitchx.org, and you can uh, which this database may benefit your research or your projects which are you currently undertaking. So that's all for me today. Uh, any questions before I end the session? Thank you, Mr. Anif. No okay. question. Okay. Thank you. No question. Thank you, no question. Okay, thank you for your time and participation. Uh, if we have any trainings, we, uh, we just keep posted, we will post it into our GMT portal and our GMT social media. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you again and Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam.